Pre-contact Americans roamed this area for thousands of years. Later, Caddo Indians civilized it. Then, Europeans said it all belonged to them. The French king sent an adventurer named Louis Juchereau de Saint-Denis to stake his claim. In the huge heartland of a continent that would become the Louisiana Purchase, Saint-Denis founded the first permanent settlement, right here in Natchitoches. The Spanish didn't like that, so they built a fort just 15 miles west and called Los Adais the capital of Texas. Natchitoches marked as far up the Red River as a boat could go, because just upstream lay a hundred mile long river blocking tangle of fallen trees. Henry Miller Shreve took decades to clear the Great Raft. His work enabled the prosperity of Louisiana's third largest city, Shreveport. During the Civil War, the Red became the invasion route for a fleet of gunboats and a great Union army. Battles at Pleasant Hill and Mansfield turned back the Federals. The plan to capture Shreveport failed. The Civil War's end did not bring equality. In 1873, the battle for voting rights erupted in Colfax. The mostly black state militia occupied the courthouse. The paramilitary White League set it afire. Dozens of African Americans were shot and killed as they escaped the flames. The next time troops marched the Red River region, they were playing games, war games. Zero hour in Louisiana, the greatest field exercise in American military history, with over 40,000 motorized vehicles and half a million men. A rehearsal for World War II that America would soon be fighting. 2,000 officer referees keep score as the Army puts the accent on tank warfare and anti-tank defense. 